Steve Quist in for Kyle. And we've got a story about a high school runner who's kind of going above and beyond. I don't even want to think about running right now. I was just outside, like putting something in my car, and it's, it's a little like warm, close to 100 degrees. Yeah. It's this still kid, rehydrating. Yeah, exactly. This kid <laughs> knocked it out of the park, right? Uh, when the teachers at Mission Hills High School ask uh, Sean Castor what he did over the summer, he'll be proud to say that he ran his very first marathon, and in doing so, broke a record and qualified for one of the biggest marathons in the country. Here's John Howard with more. When Sean Castor crossed the finish line, Sean Castor from San Marcos, California, you just qualified to register for Boston. It took a while for the news to sink in. That was a big deal. I was I didn't really know how to process it. I was really tired. I couldn't sit. And then the car uh, the car ride back to the hotel. I was thinking like I I really just did that, wow. and I'm going to Boston. How many marathons have you run? This is the first one. Oh my yeah. gosh! Your first marathon. You've qualified for yeah. Boston. <laughs> Sean made it seem easy. But it wasn't, both on and off the course. Was the marathon more difficult than you thought it would be? How difficult oh, was yeah, it? Oh, yeah, it was the hardest thing I've ever done. Most qualifying marathons for Boston require runners to be 18 years old. Sean is just 17. I didn't think I was going to finish. And then I said I didn't drive all the way up here to quit. His father found the rare run outside of Seattle that allowed 17-year-olds, which allowed Sean to reach his dream. It feels amazing. Don't that is, yeah, dream come true. He's alpha doc. Yeah. Oh, he's off a dog. His competitive spirit, it just, it's out of this world, honestly. Yeah. You know, it's, again, he's one of those athletes where if he sets his mind to it, he's going to hit it. What do you think about when you're running? Um, it's usually a conversation with my teammates over here. Yeah. Um, we just talk about whatever's current. Are you talking about girls and stuff? Yeah, we talk about everything. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Are you ready for it? Sean gets pumped up with Taylor Swift. You're not embarrassed to say that you listen to Taylor Swift in I'm front of not. the guys, are you? Nope. Uh, <laughs> he has to listen to it every day. That's what I listen to, and I have the poem. He finished fourth overall at the Jack and Jill Marathon in a time of 2.51.45. That beat Boston qualifying by 10 minutes. It also set the course record for the under 24 age category. What is it that you enjoy about sport? I enjoy um, when you run, I think it takes you places that you would never go any other way. It's important, it teaches you lessons that you have to work and it doesn't always go your way. And if you're wondering why the 17 year old wanted to run the Boston Marathon? I just wanted to do something that would be hard and a marathon is one of the hardest things. In San Marcos. I think that is the hardest run I've ever done in my life. John Howard, CBS News 8. That's amazing. I, I think it takes me 251 to run the five miles around Lake Miramar, for goodness sakes. He I've seen you run. You, you, you have, it does. Right? Yeah, it looks like I'm carrying some, some stuff. But uh, he first beat his dad when he was like six years old, for goodness sakes. Or when, no, in sixth grade, actually. And I, I had to look up. That's a 630 pace for 26.2 miles. I yeah. can't do a 630 just I going know. all out once. My goodness. My goodness. Great story. That's impressive. Yep. I got a cramp walking across the parking lot <laughs> today.